Welcome to the latest in a series of online services helping us to worship together while we are unable to meet in our church buildings. In these services, we are using the morning prayers liturgies drawn together by Brother David Dickinson. In normal times, these liturgies are used at Fulnex Thursday morning services. Today we are using liturgy number two. Where there are responses for us to say, or verses for us to sing together, they will appear on the screen. The Spirit of the Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. O God, our Creator, your kindness has brought us the gift of a new day. Help us to leave yesterday and not to covet tomorrow, but to accept the uniqueness of today. Let us pray. God the Father, have mercy upon us. God the Son, have mercy upon us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy upon us. Holy, blessed and glorious Trinity, have mercy upon us. Father eternal, giver of light and grace. We have sinned against you and against one another in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ says to us, each one, Go and sin no more. Come and follow me. And now, as Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We say together, the 46th Psalm. 
God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Today's New Testament reading comes from Matthew chapter 10, Verses 40 to 42. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me, and anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water, to the one of these little ones who is my disciple. Truly, I will tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. The disciples have been sent out in the name of Jesus, proclaiming the same good news and performing the same good works as him. They share in his poverty and are called to go out into new places, taking no extras with them no clothes, shoes or food, they have to rely solely on the hospitality of others. This call to be welcoming and to be welcomed is incredibly significant, as in those days the identity of a person was much tied into family and community. In showing hospitality to one person, you were in fact welcoming the whole family or whole community they were a part of. So, welcoming someone who had come in the name of Jesus was actually extending welcome and hospitality to Jesus himself. It can be difficult sometimes to be welcoming or to accept hospitality from others, especially when we've never met them before. How welcoming are we to those we come across? Let us pray. Blessed Lord, we ask you mercifully to accept the prayers we now present unto you. Grant through your heavenly grace that, asking in faith, we may, according to your promise, receive the things asked for. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for others. We pray for those on the fringes of society, for those who feel rejected, for those who are overlooked, 
for those whom people avoid. May they know that they are welcome in your kingdom. May they know the welcome of your love. We pray for those who are lonely, for those who are in prison, especially those who are kept in isolation. We pray for children excluded from school, for their families and for all those responsible for their education. Loving God, as you welcome us, may we welcome others with warmth and steadfast love. Amen. Lord, set your blessing on us as we begin this day together. Confirm us in the truth by which we rightly live. Confront us with the truth from which we wrongly turn. We ask not for what we want, but for what you know we need. As we offer this day and ourselves for you and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Now we will sing a hymn together and the words will appear on the screen. <laughs> peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep. Through the blood of the eternal covenant, make us perfect in every good work to do his will, working in us that which is well-pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please join us again next week. <laughs>